front of you. This is from Stermansky, the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin. Stermansky means navigator in Russian. Let me repeat that. You are looking at a replica of the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin. This is the only company in the world that can state that. No other company can say they were the first watch in space. Stermansky out of Check Moscow. This, this is a hand assembled watch in Moscow, Russia. They are the only company in the world that has the legal rights to use the images of Yuri Gagarin. They have a relationship with his daughter. That is a beautifully sculpted case back. Let me give you a couple of quick things you need to know about this. First of all, only 2,000 made for the world. It is a mechanical a uh, manual wind watch, so you're going to be winding this watch. It is 40 millimeters. I know that's a little bit smaller than the typical watch on here, but understand that the original watch that Gagarin wore was only 36 millimeters, so this is actually 40 millimeters more. And with that classic retro styling of this watch, um, if it were to be much bigger, you would start to even possibly get into a little bit of a cartoonish look. This is a classical timepiece. As Tim said, if you're going to own any watch, from our collection, this is the watch to put in your collection. This is as historical a timepiece as you can possibly get. I'd like to get a quick shot on the movement if we can. This is a 17 Joule Polyot 2609 movement. As Tim mentioned, this movement is no longer made. Um, so that adds a collectability to this watch that you can't get anywhere else. Simple, elegant movement, beautiful heartbeat on this. 17 Joule, mechanical, and you can see uh, that it is in a metal movement holder, so you've got quality of construction as well. If we can slip over, I'm going to switch, and here is the case back with that beautiful etching of Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space wearing the first watch in space. This is the only watch you can get anywhere that is a true replica from the original brand that can say they were the first watch in space. I want to show you, I'm going to flip it over. It's not hollow. Okay, you would expect to see the hollow underside of this. No, that whole thing is solid. This is an amazing timepiece that you've got to have in your collection. Don't miss out on this. I've said it, I'm going to say it one more time. First watch in outer space. And it's really a beautiful watch as it's worn. It's yes. not outlandish, but it's no. your point. I mean, that, that's the, the reasoning behind it. It is, you know, you put, and, and it, it's, it's arguably a, a dress watch, but you can easily. The uh, go-to guy, Craig Hester, who's now uh, seated uh, next to me, as we're going to get into the uh, uh, the Gagarin watch. Uh, we well, showed you, the, this a couple out, nights ago. What? You left out the most exciting thing about tonight. Which is? Igor Zavovsky is going to no. be joining us via no. Skype oh, no, for just a few about minutes. a moron shipping. Yes. <laughs> for those of you tuning in, you go, why didn't you say that? Yes. Igor, the guy. The, the managing director of yes. Vostok Europe, the brainchild of Vostok Europe, will be He's joining, be joining us, us via Skype from live from Vilnius, Lithuania. Lithuania. Which is a fantastic community, and I hope you guys all get to go there. Yes. Um, I had a chance to visit. I can't wait to go back. It's just a beautiful place, and the people are amazing. And uh, Igor is a great guest, so we're he actually is. setting up that call uh, now. Obviously, it's, it's overseas, so we'll, uh, we'll be bringing him out, He's coming out uh, well, shortly. Yeah, well, and it didn't make sense for him to be at the top of the hour because this is, to, to get to the watch we're talking about now, this is the Gagarin, which is actually not from Vostok Europe. It's actually the only watch in this hour that's not from Vostok Europe, so it didn't make sense to have him in on this presentation. Uh, this watch is built by Stermansky, which means navigator in Russian. And for those of you who are not aware of it, I, the most important thing to get across right from the get-go is that this is um, based on the first watch in space Love the back on the wrist of the first human in space, Yuri Gagarin. And like I like to say, I think that bears repeating. This is the brand that was the first watch in space. There's no other watch brand in the world that gets to say this. Only Stermansky can say they were the first. Omega can say they were the first watch on the moon, but Stermansky can say they were the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin. Um, and they were actually the first watch on the wrist of a, uh, on the, of a female, the first woman in space, female cosmonaut who, forgive me, her name escapes me at this particular second. And the interesting thing is she went up in 1963, which shows how early the Russians were actually mm -hmm. putting women in space. Um, as I said the other night when we aired this, and thanks guys for tuning in when I Skyped in the other night, that was a fantastic show. We had a lot of fun with that Skip That was and a Tim. great show. That was. It was I'm really, really fun. happy we did that. Yeah. Is if you're going to own one watch that comes from the origins of the watches that the Detente Watch Group, uh, my company, brings to Evine, this is the one to own.
because this is truly a piece of history on your wrist. This is the only watch you can get that is an actual true replica. It's not, a, I wanna be clear, it's not an exact replica. There are differences between this and the original Gagarin watch. But this is the only watch you can get coming from the company that can say they were the first watch in space. Now, there's so many things about this story, and I think we actually have a little time for this, for this presentation, so I'm gonna go, kinda go into the story. What's amazing about, so many things that are amazing about the Gagarin story and the Gagarin watch, not the least of which, of course, just the fact that it was the first, but um, the fact that this wasn't planned in any way. Um, Yuri Gagarin, this just happened to be the watch that he, was, that he owned, that he happened to be wearing. Unlike Omega, where it was planned with NASA to put that mm -hmm. watch sure. on, uh, on, uh, on the moon, this was just the watch that happened to be given to him when he graduated from flight school. And actually, we have less time than I thought we did, so I wanna to get to something very important. I wanna show the movement, if we can get a chance to come in on this, the elegance of the simplicity of this 17-jewel manual wind movement that's in this watch. This is a Polyot movement. It's not made anymore. So not only are you getting the collectability of this being the only Gagarin watch that you can get right now, you're getting the collectability of this being a Polyot movement that's no longer made. Now, you're also getting, we talked about it earlier, the etched case back. I'm gonna switch to that. Look at the beauty of this etched case back. And it's like a medallion almost, the way they did this. Just this fantastic case back with the Gagarin image. As we joked the other night, that's that probably a one thing. Beautiful case it back. is. That's probably one thing that wasn't the same on the one that he was wearing. I doubt very seriously that there was a, an image the of Gagarin on the back on, on the back of his watch. Um, on the dial, an important historical aspect of this particular execution is that if you could get a close-up right at the 12 o'clock position of the logo there, uh, yes, the one at the 12 o'clock position, um, or maybe it's at the bottom. Anyway, it is the actual, there it is, the first, when we get close on that, that you see where it says one M blah, blah, blah there, I can't do the, but it, that mean, that stands for First Moscow Watch Factory, Corova. Wow, I didn't that know that. That is the first logo of you know what, the guys, First Moscow Watch Factory. I'm gonna move the Factory. hands out of the way, I'll be right back. Okay, right. and while you're doing that, you've got three executions here. You have the beige, which is the closest to the original watch that uh, Gagarin wore. And then you have two black, ex black executions. Now, I know they look almost the same, but there actually is, especially, and you can tell when you see it in person, there's a difference in the numbers, coloring on the numbers of the chapter ring. Um, so you, there, it, and it's more different than you really realize seeing it on, when you see it in person. But there you go. That is the original logo of the first Moscow watch factory, Corova of course, in Cyrillic on here. And then below at the bottom is the original Stermansky logo, which are both, it's just quite different, it, today's logo of, of Stermansky. Uh, Stermansky is the only watch that uh, has the legal rights to use Gagarin's image. They have a relationship with his daughter. There are other watches out there that put Gagarin on their watch, but they're not doing it with legal authority. So if you want the real thing, hand assembled in Moscow, the true uh, uh, replica of the original from the company that put the first watch in space. By the way, and this price, guys, 358, a lot of this is due to the fact that the dollar's doing so strong against the euro. This really should be nearly 500. That's it, a great point to end on, and I'm gonna also end in the fact that the movement in that is no longer made. That's immediately collectible.